Hello, welcome to Maths with J. So we're solving this linear congruence. Now this is a special linear congruence because all the integers involved have a common factor. Now let's just have a look if we write this just like an equation instead of as a congruence. So that means we're going to say, well, we've got 6x is equal to 4 plus a multiple of 10. The important thing here is that the x and the k are integers. So what we can do here is we can just divide through by the common factor. So instead of 6x we get 3x, instead of 4 we get 2, and instead of 10k we get 5k. And you could just write that as another linear congruence, but this time in mod 5. So it's going to be simpler to solve. So what we've got is that 3x is congruent to 2 mod 5. So what we can do now is simply try values for x. So let's try x equals 1. So if x is 1 then we've got 3 times 1 and that's 3. Well that's just congruent to 3 mod 5 so that's not what we want. If uh, we try x equal to 2, we get 3 times 2 is 6, and in mod 5 that's going to be 1. And if we try x equal to 3, 3 threes is 9, so that's congruent to 4 mod 5. Nearly there. We've only got 5 numbers to try altogether, haven't we? So we've got to be nearly there. 3 times 4. That's 12, so in mod 5, that is what we want. So we now have that 3 times something is congruent to 2 mod 5. In other words, our solution is that x is congruent to 4 mod 5.